Now, there's a big, big pressure, a big, big difference between just sort of a little bit of cross face pressure and then having so much pressure that they want you to pass. And so the idea of getting this deep to under here is we want him to be so uncomfortable that he's not actually thinking about what's going on with his legs. He's thinking, I've got to get this pressure off my head. So when we're in this position here, again, try to cuff that shoulder, pull them up and in, and then you want that hand there as deep as you can. Lift your elbow and you want to grab right under his armpit here. So once you've got that grip, the idea isn't just to put it back down here. You're right if I put some pressure yeah. in the face. Yep. So the idea here is to actually pull your elbow back in like that and drive your shoulder in there. Okay? Now you've got good pressure. Yeah, so he wants me to get off. So now he's worrying about this. He's not as worried about this in that split second, which lets us do all our other stuff. So again, here, pull, get in deep, get that nice and tight, pull him in, really drive. See the face? That's what you want there. You want that face. Sorry, mate. Okay, now I won't do it again. So I'm just demonstrating that. And it sort of sounds mean, but in training, when you roll, try to put it on. If you're drilling every single repetition, I'm not going to do it. But when you're rolling, yeah, put it on. Because then when you go to a competition or when you do something for real, if you haven't trained it, you won't do it. Yeah, you gotta, you're going to end up fighting how you train. So if you train whenever you roll, yeah, I put heavy pressure on. But when I'm drilling all my techniques, then I'll be kind. Okay, so we're in this position here, I've got my nice deep grip. I have to have my head down. And I'll explain that now. So whenever we are flat like this, so in half guard, if he's flat and I'm flat, whoever has the underhook has a better position. So if he's got the underhook here, he's gonna get onto his side, he's gonna pop me up, he's gonna take my back, or he's gonna sweep. If I have the underhook here, it's more likely I'll pass. But when I switch onto my hip and I'm side on here, now the underhook's not as important. Okay, he can have an underhook here, as long as my head is below his head. So if I'm up like this, and Jason's head here, he's gonna come on top. Okay, so when you're on your side, the underhook isn't as important. What's more important is head position. That's why I kept saying before, I was like, okay, when you switch your hips, keep your ear on their chest or their shoulder, here. Because that guarantees my head is under his head. Yeah. Now it doesn't matter, if I'm going for this, trying to push on here and he gets the underhook, I don't really care. Okay, because my head's underneath his head. So he can't really go, he can't go to my back, because my back's all the way over there. Okay, that doesn't really matter. My weight's not really on him, so it's hard for him to sweep me. So because my head's lower than his, it should be very hard for him to sweep. But let's just go through the motions as if they keep that underhook there, because it's quite common. We're always trying to get underhooks usually. So I'm going to pop my knee free like this, and he's got that underhook. Alright, so now I don't want to keep passing and giving him the underhook. If I try to go to mount, he's going to put my knee back in. If I come this way, he's going to take my back. He's going to let me pass and take my back. Alright, so when I get here, I won't worry about super deep there. I change my hips. He gets that, I've got my head down. I still need to get my knee free here. Once my knee's free, even if he has this underhook, it's all right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my other leg and I'm gonna sort of do like a back kick over there. So I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna grab under his head with my other arm here, and I'm gonna swing my leg backwards. And see again, my head comes down. Because again, I'm on my side, so now it's about head position. If his head's on the inside, he's gonna win. He's gonna come on top. Okay, so I need to make sure that when I do that back step, I end up down here. Okay, like this. Again, in real life, I'm trying to get really deep here and I'm putting super pressure onto his face. All right? Once I'm in this position here, I'm gonna now try and use my free foot to move my bum backwards away from him until just my foot is caught between his legs. I don't want my whole leg in like this. So I'm gonna hold, even if it is, I'm gonna hold his knee here, foot on the floor, and I'm gonna start moving backwards. But notice how my shoulder pressure doesn't change. I'm not doing this, okay? I keep my shoulder forward, head down, and it's my bum that moves, like that. Once I feel like I can't go anymore, my free foot, I'm just gonna put it on his bottom leg, 
And now I'm going to push my bottom leg into his leg. I'm going to push like that. And at the same time, I'm going to pull his top leg. So I'm trying to make his legs split apart. And that's going to let me pull this leg out here. So I'm here, say I'm in deep and I'm in close here like this. So I'm going to work my way back, keep my shoulder pressure, just my foot, can't go any further. Foot here, I'm going to push the bottom leg, pull the top leg as I take this leg out. Here. Put that on the ground and now as soon as I do that I want to drive his hips away from me and put my knee in so he can't get his guard back. And then I come to my side. So again, we go for the first step, but he gets the underhook. I've got super tight on this, I'm getting that good shoulder pressure. I've switched my hips, my head is down, but he got his underhook. I need to get my knee free still. Once that knee comes out here, I'm going to do a nice, quick, explosive back step over there. So my hand now comes from pushing onto his leg, under his head. Oops, sorry mate, and I back step. And now from here we might have to fight to get my head down but I want it to be under his head again. Because I'm side on, underhook doesn't matter as much. Okay, I'm driving into his head here, I'm nice and low. Hold the pants, keep him tight, so this hand's still pulling him in tight. Put on the floor, walk back. Can't go any further. Foot here, push and pull. Tuck that leg in straight away, and now I'm gonna drive this hand over there as I put this knee on the ground. Here, come up, and I have 